So Evox is here after a long time. This is Evolution XOS version 9.5. As you know, Android 15 is just around the corner and it is coming very, very soon. And this custom room will bring you Android 15 very soon. But time to talk about Android 14, which is having the latest security patch of October 2024 and it's version 9.5. And finally, we can say that legendary Evolution XOS is back. And why so? Because in case you don't know, in some previous updates, in last few updates, Evolution XOS was bringing you only few changes because it is now based on Lineage OS. Previously, it was based on Pixel Experience. So being based on Lineage OS, things were not so great in the terms of customization some features were there but not every but yes after using this update and yes it looks like all the previous evolution xos features are back it brings you all the theming options still some of the features are missing from here but that was quite expected because it's still based on lineage os but still brings you a lot of amazing features and changes for example with version 9.5 we also have some extra brightness slider customizations and what this is for example if i choose this round clip option moving on to the quick settings panel this is the one i was talking about of course you can change things according to your preference you can change the icon style icon pack and a lot more extra things in this case and this is how the brightness slider is looking like some of these brightness slider styles are so good and yes in case these options are not present in your device for example if you're using any other custom room you can get these kind of things on a device very easily by installing some modules for example iconify is one of the choices available there it also brings you all the fonts customization which were expected lock screen does not have those custom clock styles but it has the fonts options available for you in the previous update they introduced these lock and unlock sounds in case you don't know so now you can change the lock and unlock sound and we have already a lot of options present in this case same as that we also have some boot animation options present and some of the great boot animations like resurrection remix cyanogen mode these options are present in this case you can also use your custom boot animation make sure you have the boot animation dot zip file available not the magisk module keep this thing in your mind these were the some theming options which are present in this case and if I move on to the status bar options, things are quite simple but one change I found here is the battery style. In the previous updates as far as I know battery styles were just only two or three options available there but now we have all the options which you have in some other customization focused custom rooms already. Moving on to the quick settings panel, yes, it was expected, it is here. We have the option for Android 11 style quick settings panel. You just have to choose the circle tiles and then you can adjust the rows and columns and that is it. Else you also have same kind of options in this case too. Quick settings panel still has very useful options. Some of the great options, which is actually one of the main highlights of using Evolution XOS and that is some miscellaneous options. You have the option to ignore the Windows secure flags. You have the option for application downgrade, hiding the screen capture status, no storage restrict. These features are so good. And of course, in the terms of spoofing, there are a lot of options available for you. You have the Snapchat spoofing options. You also have the Google photo spoofing and you have the Google Play Store spoofing. Spoof the Play Store to the latest Pixel device. What this does is it simply unlocks the ability to download the Google Pixel specific apps from the Google Play Store. For example, this Gcam. But make sure this should work. And in my case, personally speaking, it's not working at all. I'm not so sure if any of you will be able to run this on your devices, but it's here. So just wanted to let you know, I have to find out some more things to explore. In the terms of other things, we also have the hiding the developer status option and the no storage restrict. So basically, I don't think so. There is any option left to bypass. These security restrictions can be bypassed in Evolution XOS without root. And that is one of the reasons which I personally, why I personally loved Evolution XOS so much. App lock, yes, there are options available for you to configure in this case. In this case, you have a pixel launcher. So yes, app lock is necessary. And the hiding gaps from the launcher is also one of the features, which is absolutely amazing. So yes, these are the things available in this case. If you want to try this out, you can. Evolution X version 9.5 is this one I'm talking about. If it is not available officially, it might be available unofficially for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.